and Michoke Technical was started way back in 1956 as, as a youth rehabilitation center. It was meant to upgrade the skills of the youth within the, the locality so that they could serve the economy masters within the area. It was funded by the local community. The land was donated by the late Michuki, who was a senior chief within the location, and the late father to the late Honorable MP John Michuki. He organized to get the European Economic Community to fund the construction of staff houses and workshops, tools to the tune of 20 shillings, 700,000. That way it was way back 1978. The senior has grown progressively, like in 1990, it had that, that six students enrolled in the various courses. The government, through the Minister of Education, Science and Technology, uh, funded the construction of the administration block, a motor vehicle workshop, food and beverage workshop, electric workshop, and a hostel. Besides that, it has given the institution several equipment in motor vehicle and food and beverage. Also, it has given us a double cab, which came in very handy because we did not have another vehicle before. Although thereafter, we have bought ourselves a 62 seater bus through the funding from the parents. We are satisfied with the cabs. We've been in the performance contracting for the last several years, and on the targets, we've been doing, doing very well. In collaboration with the community, we've marked our programs to enable us get that population of the area of 500. Our, our vision is to become a leader in the provision of technical, industrial, vocational, entrepreneurial training in Kenya and the beyond. My name is uh, Benjamin Gekonyo Mushiri. I am the Deputy Principal of uh, Michoke Technical Training Institute. My main uh, work is uh, concerned with uh, teaching activities, organizing the, the timetable, ensuring that uh, facilities are distributed equally amongst uh, our students. Our day starts as early as six. As six. Our students wake up. They go and take their breakfast. Uh, we are currently we are not pay as wheat program. So our students are already they already like that program very much. So you find uh, all of them will go to the dining hall. They pay for their for their cup of tea, a snack. About one or two may may go to the shopping center. My name is Faith Jogona. I'm doing business management and administration under NEC, we prefer that we should continue with the system of peers which here in school because it's more advantageous than eating outside. It's well cooked and there are, I think there are no more disadvantages about the food in school. Our classes start at 8, every session has got two hours and uh, once they break at 12.30 for lunch, they resume the classes at uh, 2 p.m. They continue up to 4, though some few uh, go up to 5. Classes are theory classes, and we also have practical classes. We've got uh, students who uh, do ICT, there are students who do uh, food at beverage and their practical is in two areas. That is uh, food preparation and service. I'm Samuel Ngugi, a student in Michuki Technical Training Institute. I'm taking a diploma course in food and beverage, production, sales and service management. It's my ambition and I like this course. So far, Michuki has helped me get culinary arts and I've become a good chef. I'm Christine Wanjiko Kafugi in Michuki Technical Training Institute pursuing diploma in food and beverage. I'm now in module two, taking management in production. As I can see, the school is quite good. The teachers are very cooperative. So we have sufficient instruments to use in, during production and services. And my inspiration is to be a manager or a supervisor to start with in a big hotel 
in those cities. Now we got students in the electrical department. Now they also have zero classes and they also have uh, uh, practical classes. And for practicals, we give them uh, uh, four to six hours in a day. And uh, sometimes the classes may go up to five. My name is Jude Degwa in Mechik Technical Training Institute, where I am taking electrical engineering power option, which is an enjoyable course. It is good whereby when you go there outside, you are able to do your work, you are able to employ yourself. It is something that you are able to connect. It is quite simple and simple. Don't fear it. It is a good course. We've got other students who are, uh, who are in the business department. And in the business department, we have, a, we have accounting section. They join the institute in uh, January and they do their exams towards the end of May. We are focused to grow. Our most promising department as of now is the electrical department, mechanical department, and the food and beverage. The others are also coming up. My name is Catherine Mwagi. I'm the new dean of students with Chuki Technical Training Institute. Uh, the dean's office uh, mainly deals with students' welfare. Students' welfare is about uh, students' governance, that is the students' council, elections, and we also deal with sickness. In case students are sick, this is the office that takes care of the students' uh, sickness and other welfare issues. So apart from that, we also deal with games, the extracurricular activities like games, clubs, and societies, and uh, the accommodation of students. We have enough accommodation, so our students have, don't have to stay in the shopping center. We feel it's important for them to stay inside, for them to uh, concentrate. This office uh, also organizes entertainment for students. On entertainment, we have uh, a full-time DSTV for the students. We also organize cultural nights where students from various uh, cultural backgrounds are able to, to show what they have to other students. And we feel this is a good thing for the students because uh, it helps them uh, loosen up a bit so that they're able to concentrate. We feel this is a very important office because it supports the students' welfare, without which uh, their core issues will not uh, run well. They are not taken care of in other issues. In other areas, they will not uh, perform in class. We have a staff, current staff of 57, 50 under TAC and seven under BOG. Non-teaching staff are 20. The student population, as of May, are 500. We anticipate to get to 630 students by June 2016. I cannot forget to recognize the, the, the support we've been given by the employer TAC. They have come handy or at all times when you require additional staff. That's why you have been able to upgrade ourselves from 36 students in 1990 to 500 currently with a projection of 630 by June 2016. The support of the Board of Governors have been enormous. And the planning of those projects the equipment of uh, teaching and teaching staff, and even the marketing to get to those numbers, without them would not have been possible. The staff, for all that has been going on, I give you what to appreciate that uh, the efforts have borne fruits. That is, we have got that. The government, through help, is providing a maximum of 35,000 per student per year on application. That is the government initiative to ensure that uh, all qualified and the students do not rot in the village for lack of fees, 
And that's when it started providing that with effect from 2012. This is the Department of the Registrar. Our main business is to register the students when they avail themselves. And uh, our process is usually very simple. We would have uh, invited the students initially by either posting the letters by way of Kenya Post poster or by way of uh, emailing the, uh, uh, the, 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 the invitation letters. When the students report, we have a very simple program. First, the student and the parent or the parent identifies themselves uh, they sell themselves at the gate, fill a confidential form, which helps us collect data on the student's background and uh, the student's uh, relations. Uh, then after that, we get the student to uh, pay up the fees. Once they pay up the fees, then we register the student. And after that, the fourth step is just to assign the student Modition. One of the most important exercises of the registry is to maintain records. We have uh, had experience with the students and employers coming here to inquire information about students who, have, who we are here all the way back in the 90s. And so we have found that component of our work is very important because if we are able to keep records, all the records of students that we have had through this college, then it is possible for us to be able first to track them wherever they go. And secondly, we are also able to tell the employer who we have trained and how we have trained them. And that way, that way we are able to get out there and be known. When it comes to activities, processing activities, we have also been equally doing very well. Uh, last year, in a variable, we managed position number three in the region. This year, in the Tibet Fair, at the regional level, we managed position number one. And as we are talking, we are the nationals representing the region in a food and beverage training area. We have sporting facilities that are adequate and that has what, what made us to be a bit competitive when it comes to regional and national events. I would appeal to the public when it comes to looking for opportunities to train their sons and daughters, let them first of all confirm with the Michoki. One, we are the cheapest government institution within the region. Two, our environment is second to none in terms of space and free from pollution. Not, not forgetting that we have enough accommodation spaces for both men and ladies. We have scheduled to have our first function of opening a modern library by our principal secretary, Madam Professor. Greta Suda on the 22nd of May 2015. My name is Jacinta Jerry, a student from MTTI, taking a course in Certificate in Information Communication Technology. I'm very grateful because we have a new modern library where we have the books we need. We also use internet in our library, even in around every corner of the school. We also have Wi-Fi connections in our school as well as in our hostels, which helps us in our studies and to entertain ourselves, such as Facebook, Twitter, and so on. On this day, we are inviting both the parents, the community, and those that have interest in education to join us to witness this gate occasion. Our trainees that we have trained in the past are in the various industries and including several professionals. For example, our guest master, Mr. James Kinyaruli, was a former student of this institution. 
Um, we have several students. For example, the manager of Mentor Circle in Adika was our former student. We normally um, provide attachment placements for our students and thereafter look for jobs. A good, some of the good employers that we have that have recruited our students are Magunando Self Service. They have more than four of our students working there. We have Mamu as a hotel. They have cumulatively absorbed our students for the service that they provide. Another good uh, example is um, Dr. Kiano Secondary School. They have consumed our products in terms of service provision. We have we call a secondary school where the secretary, secretary is a product. When you go to the, the TEC, we have several of our students uh, that are uh, working there. When you go to NACMAT self service, we have several of our students that are there. The government, through the MP, has also funded us with a um, good training hall that caters for the professional services for the students during their meet and uh, watching movies. We are also in the process of starting some uh, short courses which will help the local community. And uh, that will mean that the community will also have uh, more ownership of the institute. Michoki Technical is a private choice in the provision of technical skills within the region.